Welcome to Tesla Super Destinations, where we review Tesla's charging infrastructure and get to know the cool people there. Today we're picking up electrons at the unlisted Tesla Design Center Destination Chargers in Hawthorne, California, plus Elon Musk's Algorithm of Great Power, which is immediately after the Charger review. Hello, this is Blue Leader, and we're here in Hawthorne, California at the Tesla Design Center where they have a total of 15 destination chargers, and they are for the employees of the Tesla Design Center. So campus employees, SpaceX employees, you're going to have to find another place to charge. Thank you very much for everyone that has come along with us for the journey. If you haven't yet, smash the like, smash the subscribe, and if you want to take anyone along with us, share the content with those who would have fun with us on our journey. Now, initial impressions. First thought, first thought, I wish I was a Spacela, bleh. <laughs> I wish I was a Tesla Design Center employee so I can destination charge here while I'm working. That would have been awesome. Initial feelings, uh, things have gotten a little stricter here at the Tesla Design Center on the open campus next to SpaceX. So there's a little bit of a, a feeling that someone's watching you, right? There's security cameras everywhere, so you can't come in here and goof off like the olden days. Initial concerns, none whatsoever, because I've got my photo op with a monument over there, and I've got an awesome food truck to my right. Let's get charged up. One full star for chargers, 15 destination chargers at an unknown KV 24-7. This is intended for employees of the Tesla Design Center. A full star for bathrooms about 75 feet away inside the Tesla Design Center, employees only. So if you're not an employee, hold it in. A full star for safety, well-lit, secured outdoor parking. Zero star for food and beverages. There is food. A food trucks come at lunchtime and they come as early as 9.30 a.m. A double star. Two stars for cool factor. Why? Because you've got the Tesla Design Center, SpaceX, the boring test tunnel, and Hyperloop, all within the same open campus. The Tesla Design Center gets a 5.0 TSD rating, boosted up because of the cool factor. Non-rated noteworthy mentions. If these destination chargers are too slow for you and you're a Tesla Design Center employee, you can supercharge under the shaded solar panels near the supercharger monolith. If you're a non-Tesla employee, hey, we've got a supercharger near you. You can go to the supercharger on the east side of Crenshaw at the Target in Hawthorne. Just check out a review with They Call Me PYT. 0.6 miles from the 105 freeway Crenshaw exit. Now, here comes Elon Musk's Algorithm of Great Power, also known as the Principles Approach to Technology and Design, with these five steps. Step one, make requirements less dumb. Step two, delete processes and steps. Step three, optimize. Step four, accelerate. Step five, automate. So right now I'm gonna talk about Elon Musk's algorithm of great power, otherwise known as his principles and approach to technology. And where I got this from was from speaking with Tesla staff and SpaceX staff. And this is my understanding of what that means. So here it is. It's a five step process and you have to go through each of them sequentially, one after the other, ultimately leading to step five, spoiler alert, automation. So step one is to make your requirements less dumb. Whatever principles you're working with, whatever requirements or assumptions, you got to make sure it's less dumb. Otherwise, uh, in other words, you have to totally understand what it means. And to get your understanding, you have to talk to another person. You can't do something or hold a requirement or standard because a department said so, or that's the way we've always been doing it. 
if no one else can explain to you why you have this requirement or standard, it's known as and looked at by Elon and many other people as dumb and you probably have to get rid of it. Step two is delete the process or step. You don't want to optimize something that should have been deleted. So after you've gained an understanding of it from step one, you may need to get rid of a lot of steps and actually deleting unnecessary steps is something that is very encouraged in Elon's world. Uh, something that's gonna happen, failure will be a consequence of eliminating steps and deleting steps, but you have to be okay with it because in the next step, step three, that's where you make your changes. Step three is optimization, where you look for the simplest solution. After you try to gain an understanding in step one and you have deleted as many unnecessary things, this is where you make your modifications, where you make your tweaks in your production, in your process, or in your life if you're applying it that way. Now what a lot of people do by mistake, they try to optimize something, they try to tweak something that should have been deleted in the past, right? That should have been foregone. So you don't want to jump to step three until you've deleted as many unnecessary steps as possible, which is going to lead us ramping up to step number four. Step four is acceleration, referring to cycle times. Now if you speak to anyone that works for SpaceX or Tesla, you work at a very fast pace. Now this, I find, is actually the most zen of all five steps. Now how do you accelerate something? Well, according to Elon in production, you have to be the part. You have to walk the line and see how everything moves from one step to the next. When you're being physically present, you're witnessing what's going on and you're consequentially encouraging that which you want to accelerate and gain momentum. Now this is the total opposite of being an absentee owner or managing something from an ivory tower. Acceleration is derived from being a field general, not being a desk athlete. Step five is automation, when you automate things. Now remember, you reach step five after you've done all four of the previous steps. What a lot of people have done by mistake is they try to automate something that either shouldn't exist or that's something that's really overly complicated and you automate that and you'll end up having some regrets. Now this can easily be applied to athletics, social interactions, and other areas and facets of life and work because what you're wanting to automate are your core fundamentals and principles. Congrats, you made it to the end. Comment your electric thoughts and share with your circle of trust. Thanks for letting us supercharge your Tesla destination. Peace out. Please don't charge here, even though you can check out the awesome monument over there and this historical supercharger over there.